right, welcome back to TCG Love. And after the last video and the awesome set booster box opening, I will try my luck again with the draft booster box. There should be no big difference in uh, in value between them, um, except for a few bucks because the set booster is worth a little bit more. I paid 100 euros for this draft booster box and I want to get that 100 euros back. Uh, we will scan all the expensive cards if you're new to this channel and we will see if these draft booster boxes make the money back that you pay for them. Uh, it's after pre-release. For some reason it looks like the cards are uh, worth a little bit more after pre-release. That's interesting. At least I get better results. But we will see. So draft boosters are a little bit special this set. Uh, there are a few slots that can have rares. The first one is this one. Uh, so we have our first rare, Hidetsugu and Kairi. 11 cents, that's trash. The next slot is always a double-faced card, which can also be rare. This one is not. The next slot is a battle, which also can be rare. This one is not. Then we have a Multiverse Legends slot that can be rare, which we got here, Arix Mises. Arix Mitis, Slumbering Isle. Sorry, that was a horrible Latin, probably. There you go. And then we can have a slot in the foil. Uh, we can have a rare in the foil slot, I think. And nothing more. So let's see how many rares we can get from these draft boosters. Alright, so. Commons, uncommons, we got another array in this slot, Yargil and Mutani. Two cents. Doesn't seem to be many rares in the double-faced slot. Battle can have a slot on. And then another array here, Embry, Lurker of the Lock. 44 cents, also worth nothing. A land. Oh, there's no four, there's not a foil in each pack. Some comments and another rare here, transcendent message. Let's scan it, two cents. Uh, double faced battle multiverse legends. This time no rare and a land and token. Alright, so for now didn't pull any cards that are sellable. But I'm optimistic. Uh, oh, there we go. Chrome host sea shark is worth a few bucks. One eleven hmm. seems to be dropped a little bit. Double faced card, battle, multiverse legends card rare, which is not worth anything. I probably have already five of these exact cards. Token and land in the end. So let's see. Oh, search of salvation is worth something. Is it still worth something? 67 cents. I'll put it here for now. Oh, there we go. Gauta and Maven. This should be worth a few bucks. With this nice coin treatment. It says 28 cents. What the hell? What's going on, guys? Battle. Uh, Multiverse Legends. Land. Oh, that goes here. And token. Did the price already drop? from two days ago where I recorded the set booster. Maybe I should think around with the scanner because I don't actually like the scanner values. They usually, the scanner usually tells me less than I actually pay, uh, put it up for on card market afterwards. Double face card, battle, multiverse legends, foil, nothing. So maybe I should try a different setting on the scanner. We got, we got Shieldred. All right, now we're talking. How much is Shieldred gonna pay for? For five packs, she's paying. That's already good. Uh, no, this is battle. Shieldred is a double-faced card slot. Since she, she is a double-faced, so this is what we can get in the double-faced slot. All the praetors.
So that's interesting. I wonder if she can be in another slot. I guess not. Alright, so we got nothing here. A double faced uncommon and the rare la uh, battle invasion of Goba Khan, which was worth a buck or something. 78 cents. I'll put here for now. Squeedy Immortal, worth nothing. A second rare in this pack. 20 cents. Land and token. Nothing there. Oops. Didn't open it properly. And we got the first rare Zephyr Singer. I don't remember this pulling this card ever. It's a new card for me. That's funny. Already opened so many products and there's always one or two new cards that I'm like, oh, never saw, saw this one. I saw this one plenty though. Obosh the Grey Piercer and he's worth nothing. 30 cents. Not many valuable cards yet. We need another crater or something. Archpriest of Shadows, worth nothing. Six cents. Double faced card. A battle. Invasion of Dominaria. Multiverse Legends. Full Art Land. And nothing else. Alright, we need something good soon. Uh, Arendt and Giada. Should be worth a few cents. Actually, it is worth a few cents, but. Uh, there's Legends, Foil Isle, sure, whatever. Uh, not Isle, Island, of course. Let me just skip a bunch of these comments on comments. And nothing there, double faced card here. Rare Battle Invasion of Theros. Nine cents. Modern Legends, and open. Oh boy. I was hyped after the set booster last video. This seems like, oh, and there we go. Should complain a little bit more often. Also lift the Shattered Spire. This should be worth a few bucks. 3.33, fine. Double face card, battle, this, foil, nothing there. Prices dropped quite a bit. I should get rid of all these products that I still have soon. I was only sitting on a few hundred bucks. Lost, I think. We got Boon Bringer Valkyrie, worth nothing. Six cents, double face card, uncommon battle, multiverse legends, nothing else. How many packs did we open? More than ten, probably. We got three cards that are worth something. I would, I would say this is unlucky because. These cards were never worth anything, so it's not really that the prices have dropped it. We just got unlucky here. Beryl and Kari Zef. Is 70 cents. Double face card, battle, multiverse legend. A foil. What? The battle was the other way around in this pack, which is weird. Search of Salvation again, I'll put it here, I'll set it probably. Oh, we got a Mythic Battle, Invasion of Shandalar. That's worth a few bucks. 2.11, ay ay ay. I'm curious, is the scanner really that wrong or did the price is quite drop? Because all these cards were worth way more. Uh, we are not even close to 50 bucks, so... We need to keep up the pace. Invasion of Tolvada. The first rare. 11 cents. Uh, did I put the, the double face card, I guess, in the... Let's, let's dig it back out. I think there should be a double face card here that I accidentally put here. Yeah, there we go. Here, oh, Itali Primal Conqueror. This one worth, should be worth a few bucks. 316, there we go. 
Barrel, Multiverse Legends, nothing else. These draft boosters are not that bad. Well, this box is bad, but how they made the draft boosters a little bit more fun now. Oh, City on Fire, that's that's nice. Uh, that they can have multiple rares is actually way more fun to open them. This was six bucks in the beginning pre release. There we go, there we go. Anefensa Kin Tree Spirit, another rare here. Worth nothing though. Uh, it's, it's more fun to open. I don't know if it's more fun to draft. Maybe somebody that has some draft experience can tell me. I really don't know much about drafting. Since, oh, this one's worth a buck, I guess. And we get Giganta, the Wellspring. This was worth something. Let's see how much it's now. 150, that's not bad. Uh, I really don't have anybody to draft with. My local game store is a little bit weird too. They rarely have any players there. Alright, he did Tsugu and Kairi. Our first rare, worth nothing, of course, because we already scanned that one. Double face card, a battle. Oh, there we go, Trek Subrater's Voice. This was one of the more expensive cards. Let's see how much it's now. 1664, there we go. And the Fine Thunder Moor is again turned upside down. It's a mythic battle, Invasion of Tarkir in foil. This should be worth also something. Yeah, let's click the foil button. 976, that was an awesome pack. All right, this pack saved us a little bit. Uh, not sure uh, where we at now. I guess this pack kind of put us back to zero more or less. So from now on, it's on again. Ancient Imperisaur, this was also worth something. During pre-release, or wasn't it? 17 cents. Multiverse Legends, nothing here. Two packs to go. And I've got Zurgo and Ujutai. I think I also sold these ones. 94 cents. Let's put it here for now. Maybe it's a buck still. Multiverse Legends, nothing here. We still didn't pull a Ragavan. I really hope I and we will get it at one point. Jeru and Hazoret. 10 cents. Otherwise, I think I pulled pretty much any card. We only pulled one Ren, uh, which is weird. There's Legends. Uh, in the Jumpstart booster of all places, we pulled Ren. It's a twice that it's twice already that I pulled the most expensive main set card from a jumpstart booster. City on fire. There we go. I pulled uh, Elish Norn the first time, also from a jumpstart, I think. Uh, in the last set, so that was Rudiclad, Telka, Engineer worth nothing. <laughs> this one is also upside down again. Twenty one cents. Uh, put it here. Which is it? It's Gorklo Terror of Qualcisma. Not worth much though, unfortunately. 11 cents for the foil. And I'll put here. The foil cards seem to be upside down a few uh, sometimes. And we got nothing here. Double faced here. Mythic Invasion of Ravnica. Man, I like these myth mythic battles. 55 cents. All right, at least I can keep it. Uh, this one goes here. Nothing else here. Oops. And we got... I thought this was a rare. Now here is Warcrafting, the first rare. Hopefully not the only one, because that's worth nothing. 22 cents. Uh, double face card, battle, multiverse legends, and it was the only rare. I'll do some... I'll clean it a bit up here. Uh, foils. Boom. 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 
that already looks nicer. All right, last stretch. I think we got nine packs left. If I see correctly, either nine or six. Let me check. Yeah, it's nine. Nine packs left, so uh, there still is a good chance. Croxa and Kunoros is worth something. 172, I take it. Uh, double face card, battle, Gairuda, Doom of Depths. They're rare, but unfortunately worth nothing. Six cents. And another up face, uh, upside down card. This time not a rare. Hmm, that's actually a foil, so it's just here. Alright. Uh, uh, Polokranos. Maybe it's still worth a buck. 54 cents. Cool card. Worth nothing though, unfortunately. Battle, Multiverse Legends, nothing else. Let's go. If you like these videos, please subscribe, guys. Uh, I will do a giveaway if you are a subscriber and comment under my videos. I will give away some booster packs. You can check my introduction video in the on the main page of my channel if you want to know how these giveaway work. Crocs are Titan of Death's Hunger. This is worth something. Let's go. 777. Great. And a foil this time the right side up. Uh, I'll do a giveaway at the end of um, all these product openings. So leave a nice comment. If you like these videos, subscribe please. I try to open all Magic the Gathering products. I have a nice Google Sheet in my description where I kind of collect all the data so you guys can check it out and see which products I made money back, which ones I didn't. Vuri is also worth nothing. Three cents. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm. Hoarding Bootload was worth a buck, I think. Even with the normal version, right? 43 cents. Double face card, battle, multiverse legends, nothing else. All right, four packs left. If we pull something really good now in these four packs, I think we are pretty good. Otherwise, I have uh, low hopes, see double, that we make 100 bucks back. Nine cents. Double faced, battle, multiverse legends, nothing else. All right, three packs left. Is there something that's gonna save us in here? Uh, Polokranos Reborn. This one's also worth nothing, even if it's some showcase treatment. Battle, multiverse legends, nothing else. That hurts. All right, two packs left. I can smell a Ragavan in the last pack. Uh, nothing here, nothing here. Double face card. A rare battle invasion of Alara. Oh, there we go. Four, four bucks for this one is already good. Vorinclex, Voice of Hunger. It's worth not much though, since it's not the main set Vorinclex. 6436 is still, that's great. And we got Realm Breaker, the Invasion Tree in foil. Maybe the foil one is worth a buck. Uh, it says 70, uh, 16 cents, so no. But this was already not bad. So, I, I, I smelled the Ragavan in here, so will he show up? We got nothing. Oops. Oh man. Last pack, and I'm dropping all these cards. All right. Double face cards, Invasion of Segovia, the rare. 444, that's good. Uh, that's good. Horobi Death's Wall, another rare. And we got a foil Ragavan here, guys. I, uh, I tell you, I'll tell you. It is? Nope. Some shitty Multiverse Legends, uncommon. All right, no Ragavan this time, but I think we are not too bad. Let's see what the total is. Uh, for this one, draft to 93 bucks. I think that's good because the scanner usually tells me a little bit lower 
then I actually put these cards up on. So I think we should be close to a hundred bucks. It's already close. Um, so I can't complain. I'm happy. Uh, I would consider this money made back, which means if we sell all these cards, let's go for the rares again. Invasion of Segovia, Warring Clex, Showcase, Invasion of Alara, Croxa, Titan of Death's Hunger, uh, Croxa and Kunoros, City on Fire, I think twice we have got City on Fire, Invasion of Tarkir and Foil, Atraxa, Praetor's Voice, great. Why is it not focusing? Giganta, the Wellspring, Drana and Lin Vala, and another City on Fire, Itali, Primal Conqueror, uh, Invasion of Chandalar, Ozolith, the Shattered Spire, Shieldred, that's great, and Chrome Host Sea Char. I think this pack, this box, uh, after seeing this, is, uh, was a success. And if I sell all these cards, then that basically means I can keep all of these rares for free. It's just bulk rares, but still cool. And of course, all of these cards also for free. And here is the... No! <laughs> just want to show you the stack of comments and uncommons. But I dropped it. There's half of the stack. And... The tower tumbled and there's another pile. And there's a few cards still here. Boom. That's what I like. Getting a bunch of cards. Cardboard for free. Uh... But if you want to know for sure how much these cards are worth, check the link in the description there. I'll put the exact price that I sell these cards for or the exact price that I put these cards up on, on card market as well. Uh, for more information, you can also check the introduction video I put on my channel. It's only eight minutes and there I explain everything about this channel. So thanks for watching. Uh, it was fun. This box was fun. I like these draft booster boxes, open, uh, opening these draft boosters since they can have multiple rares and a bunch of different slots. I think it's fun, so peace out guys, see you in the next video, have a good day.